So I'll be throwing out some anchovies, some lures, and some worms. Welcome back to Hers and His Adventures in California. I'm Ken, and again, uh, doing another solo trip. Sorry, Leia's been really busy lately, so she hasn't been able to fish with me too much. I think she is coming out with me on the next trip, though. But anyways, I'm here in Stockton on the Delta, and I'm going to be targeting uh, sunfish and striper. So I'll be throwing out some anchovies, some lures, and some worms for the um, bluegills. So... If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. It really does help. Sorry, I got the sun in my eyes. So, we'll see you soon, hopefully with fish on. Okay, on the striper pole, we've got the uh, typical Carolina rig, little extra weight. About a three foot leader line with a piece of anchovy held on with magic string. Well, I actually got to put the magic string on. First cast with the anchovy. Oh, not very far. Not a great cast. We'll let it sit there for a minute and see if we can get something there. Okay, and on this pole, if you guys can see it, we got two jigs with large amount of uh, red worm on it. Looks very tempting. And about a foot leader line with an eighth ounce weight. Weight's probably too light for here. Trying for sunfish on this pole. And as you can see there, anchovy soaking. Okay, cast number one. With the sunfish pole. And you would think with these tulies right over here, you would think that the sunfish would be right here. I have tried to fish bluegill and red ear before in this location with no success, but I haven't tried many times and I didn't try for very long, so. But they were biting as you guys saw at the other location I was at on that little bridge, so. Ah, uh, there was some bites right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I missed it. Should probably recast it back out now. There you go. Something's right there in that area. They just got another bite too that you guys had missed. There you go. Ah, I missed it. They're being sneaky. Okay, there's some sunfish here. At least I think they're sunfish. Something was just breaking the surface right there. If you could see the ripples by the tulis. Ah, I missed it too. Okay, let's see. Besides a snag, let's see if anything will bite. Yeah, there he goes, bite right there. Oh, I missed it, whatever it was. There he 
go, right there. Fish on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, not very big. And it is a red ear. There you go. Beautiful. Well, I pulled up and checked the anchovy, and as you guys can see, I must have missed the bites. Because um, they did a number on that anchovy, so I'm going to put some more on, but a joy, and cast it back out. Okay, I got some new anchovy on. Not held on super well, but it's okay. And uh, cast it back out. Again, not very far. It's that Carolina rig, the weights keep sliding up. Okay, get back over here and see if uh, a boat just went by. That's where all the ripples are from. See if they're still biting over here. I think I need to cast out a little bit further. Okay, I'm thinking right here by the tulies. You can see all the rocks and stuff, so I'm definitely concerned about that. But by the tulies, it just looks like something's got to be there, right? Got to be some sunfish there. Let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fish on. It's a little guy. <laughs> Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, maybe not so little, actually. Okay, that's a decent-sized bluegill. It's about a six and a half right there. Ooh, he's fat right in the middle. Okay, let's get this guy back. Ah, oh, he's kind of a beauty, though, isn't he? That's a beauty. He went right under the rock. <laughs> Just getting something on the bell. There we go, there we go. Okay, this is the anchovy. Don't feel anything yet. Always when you pick it up, that's when it stops, huh? Okay, guess we'll get back to this one. Ah, it was nice to hear a bell. <clears throat> We're getting bites on the bell again. <clears throat> there he goes. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we got a fish on. Okay, what is it? Catfish. Oh, man, Leia would love that. Okay, let's see here. I gotta be careful, this rock is really slippery. Sorry if you guys can't see right now. Okay, yeah, Leia would love this. Okay, not quite what I was hoping for, but there you go, catfish. Maybe that's what the bites have been. Again, was hoping for some stripers, so not very big. And do you guys know, is that a channel catfish or a flathead? Let me know down in the comments. I'm not good with my catfish. I think it's a channel. Sure looks like a flathead, though. Okay. Casting the fresh anchovy back out. A little bit further. Okay, get the bell on it and see if we can get some more bites.
Okay, I'm gonna cast back out for some uh, bluegill. Wait for that bell to go off again. Come on, give us a big red ear or a big bluegill. It's one thing that stinks about uh, fishing in the delta, all the rocks. There's so many snags, especially when you get close to shore. A lot of weeds. Okay, just got another little guy on. Oop, there you go. Okay, there you go. Nice little bluegill. He's just getting bites on the bell again. Let's see if it continues. I think if it's a catfish, it might stay dedicated to it. They got another something on, on the bluegill pole. Yeah, that, none of these too big. Beautiful orange though. Wow, some beautiful colors. Okay, let's get this guy released. Anyways, that bird is about, about 15 feet from me, 14 feet. It's kind of incredible. Looks like a newborn. Those look like newborn feathers. I don't know what kind of bird that is. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Want to say crane? I don't know. Okay, we're going to switch it up and use this uh, crank slash jerk bait. Um, again, I don't usually use lures too much. Um, usually seems when I do, I don't get much action. Although funny I say that because the very first striper I ever caught was uh, on a top water popper, ivory color. And I got it on my fourth cast on my first time striper fishing. Oops. nice to get a bite on this big guy and to be honest I'd rather not have a bass unless it's a white bass striper look at that it's got a lot of weight to it get good range try just reeling this one back I'm guessing this is only like a three to four foot diver. Oh shit, weeds. Huh. That's funny. I don't see no weeds. Oh, a little tiny bit right there. Okay, maybe it was weeds. Okay, I was just getting bites on the bell. Oh, I think I missed it. I think I missed it. Okay, gonna recast the anchovy. I didn't add any fresh, but we'll see if they'll bite this. Ah, uh, not very far. Hope there's something close by. <laughs>
Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up and call it a day. It's just, it's too slow for my liking. And honestly, it's been a few to several hours. So, um, bluegill bites that I missed probably, oh God, um, probably like 16, I guess, roughly. Um, the bluegill that you saw, maybe one that I didn't get on film. Uh, the one catfish that was kind of cool, but I was hoping for a striper and probably missed on the striper pole probably missed about three or four other bites um hopefully i like caught at least one of those on video so it's hard to leave the camera running all the time so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this and keep an eye out for the next video be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos and uh yeah hopefully next time we'll get something interesting